talk about modifying a CCTV lens. When it first comes, well, this one is modified, and um, what you'll notice is that the uh, shoulders here on the side have been rounded off, and you see a yellowish. Originally, that's not yellow, it's silver, and you're seeing the, I think, bronze or copper that lies underneath after you shave off, after you round the shoulders. And uh, I'll show you later why that's important, but uh, let, let's go over the tools. So you're gonna, you could use a file, but that's gonna take a long time to round, off, go round, 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 eh, rounding these shoulders here. Uh, so what you can do is, and at least in the USA, you, you'd order something called a Dremel tool. Now this is not a Dremel tool. A proper Dremel tool is gonna run you about a hundred bucks, but this is a knockoff. Now, when I, they didn't tell me, but before I ordered this on eBay from China for nine dollars, they they didn't show this little logo, and I think that's actually um, it's for trimming your pet nails, right? So, uh, but it works the same way with the limitation that instead of running off of wall power, you have to charge this thing up. So if you do a whole bunch of removal, a whole bunch of lens modification, you could have to recharge. You could run it all the way down and have to recharge it. Okay. So this is a knockoff eBay Dremel tool. It's called Peticure. And uh, you'd say, you know, Chinese Dremel tool. In Europe, they call it something else like a Ronox or something like that. My Swedish friend told me. Anyway. So you have these little bits. Those are expensive if you buy the real Dremel bits. But instead you get something like this. Uh, the 20 piece diamond burr set. Uh, Dremel bits. Heads, you know. And uh, what you get is something like this. And that's only going to be maybe 2 or $3. But it has all the proper heads in there that you'll need. And you, they give you a, a standard chuck that you can even um, tighten and untighten with your hand. And, uh, you know, you push this button and then you twist here and you can take that bit out and put the different ones in. So, um, okay, so let me, um, I, I'm, I'm using one hand to hold things up and the other hand to hold the camera, but uh, maybe I can show you the, the problem of the original lens. Okay, so what's happening in the native or unmodified lens is, is with the sharp, without this, without this softened via Dremel tool shoulder, in other words, with a sharp 90 degree shoulder on here where I'm touching the lens, it would approach the uh, adapter and then it would be stopped right there on the shoulder the sharp 90 degree shoulder would strike so it can't enter with the proper flange distance and effect proper focus so by softening by rounding the shoulder you're able to screw in more deeply and it will mate more properly so all you're doing is you're just taking that Dremel that knockoff Chinese Dremel going around, making that 90 degree shoulder more soft, uh, more rounded, with the effect that in the end it looks, you're like, oh, that looks yellow, and that's because it's just, um, it's uh, the brass or something underneath uh, that is being revealed. I've got the uh, Computar 3.5 f1.6 on now, but you can also, um, uh, modify and in place or modify and in place the following lenses like so these are the brand names I don't even know for this one I'm sorry I don't even I think it's f1.4 this one here is uh, an avatar 8 mil f1.3 that I love that one um, here is the this is the Cosmo car TV lens um, 8.5 f um, I mean 8.5 millimeter f1.5. Uh, this is a 16 millimeter one. Uh, I think this f1.3 Izukar. Then um, I reviewed this the other day, the CME 25 millimeter f1.4. It's kind of dreamy. This is the Nitsen recommended Fujian 35 mil f1.7. And there's this guy's a zoom lens. That's a Javelin, and um, that's f1.8 got this uh, times two extender that you can unscrew here on the bottom like that times two okay so um, then you've got these monsters over here serum so, bought for maybe 15 bucks and this is a I had to put this brace on the outside but it connects to a GH2 also and that's uh, the specs there it's good for uh, night work with the one that I have yet to modify got to get the proper mount on it. This too is a traffic lens that I got for $25.
and it is quite a monster. It's f1.8, but it is simply huge. And at twenty-five dollars, that was quite a bargain. So I can reach out. This is to uh, 160 millimeters at um, f1.8. So in a very low light, you can still do a good distance there. I forgot to mention these two guys. Also, you can get this um, Evitar, E-V-E-T-A-R, Evitar um, fisheye here. That runs for about 20 bucks. And then you can get this, um, an unusual brand, Ultrac. I've got it masked off because I'm going to do the mod, a mod on the bottom there. But it is a zoom lens, and it's, um, it's a 3.5 to 8 millimeter f1.4. So that would also be quite good as a zoom at night. And look, it's tiny. When I go out to take a footage, look at the look at the lens bag that I bring. Okay, I can get eight lenses in this guy. Okay, that's the size of my hand. That's my lens bag. So if you wanted to go um, with a low impact, you know, not get everybody nervous, and uh, and also not be encumbered, then this is sort of the way to go. So there's quite a few out there, and generally they range, you know, about thirty bucks. Even this monster over here, F1.8, is really huge. So.